Taxi Wegs is the latest generation of full-size Wegs robots. The robot is designed in conjunction with the Air Force Research Lab, which will install autonomous hardware and software for SLAM mapping with active feature recognition. The Wegs concept uses abstracted biological principles to navigate over rough and varied terrain with little or no low-level control. Torsionally compliant devices in the drivetrain of each wheel leg allow its gait to passively adapt when climbing large obstacles or steep inclines. Taxi Wegs has a fully sealed body that allows it to navigate mud, rocks, snow, and indoors. Its current foot design has a rigid high traction surface for outdoors with a soft boot that can easily be installed for indoor use. Taxi Wegs has two large flexible payload bays, each measuring 7 inches by 13 inches, for sensors, power, and other control electronics. Taxi Wegs has the power to climb steep inclines and full height stairs. Its small turning radius allows it to navigate stairwells and buildings as well as rugged outdoor terrain. Unlike previous Wegs designs, Daxi Wegs has a body joint that is passively compliant but actively controlled. This provides many benefits, including allowing the robot to climb over much larger obstacles. The passive compliance also acts as a suspension, sharing the loads among the wheel legs and insulating the body from damaging impacts. The coaxial body joint design is watertight and allows for wires to pass between the body segments. When the body joint motor drives the joint actively, a worm and driven gear function in a normal fashion. However, when the front of the body experiences a sudden load, the worm is not back driven. Instead, the worm slides axially but not radially on its shaft, and it is cushioned on both sides by Belleville springs. This reverse action is effectively a rack and pinion, where the front body segment is the pinion and the worm is a spring-loaded rack. With a locked body joint, the maximum height Dagsy Wegs can overcome is 10.5 inches, or 27 centimeters. On larger obstacles, the vehicle high centers and falls backwards. The middle wheel legs can get on the obstacle, but the resultant force pushes the robot's center of gravity behind its ground reaction forces. With an active body joint, Dagsy Wegs can overcome an obstacle height of 13.4 inches, or 34 centimeters. Initially, the robot flexes its front end up to help the foot land on top of the obstacle. Once the front wheel legs are situated on top of the obstacle, the front body segment flexes down, lifting the middle wheel legs up, allowing them to get a foothold on top of the obstacle. The robot then moves forward, and once the center of gravity of the robot is on top of the obstacle, it slowly flexes its front segment up again to allow the rear legs to come up. In summary, Dagsy Wegs incorporates many new design features that make it the most robust and versatile full-size Wegs to date, and it is exceptionally well suited for autonomous robotic missions.